What is up guys? It is bow time bringing you guys a beast commentary, beast gameplay of Modern Warfare 3. So let's get started guys. Today I will be using the MP7 silencer with the kick proficiency, MP9 silencer, syntax, flashes, sleight of hand, quick draw stalker, and so on. That's not the point, but I'm telling you what guys, that class setup just leads up and adds up to a great gameplay, which is what I got here today. Over 40 kills, I believe, and I think so, and I've been also playing the objective this game very well, so you guys got a very interesting gameplay to watch here today, and as you guys see, I don't know what that guy was doing, but before I get too off topic, let me get to the point of the video. Today, I want to talk about the feature console, so let me get started with Xbox 720. So, so lately, IGN has announced that Microsoft is making a a Xbox 720 that are in the making of it and I'm telling you what IGN is official company is not just you know some scrub off the street I don't know <laughs> but yeah it's a it's IGN entertainment company it's it's official and they all their information they put out is pretty much true but <laughs> we all know that Microsoft and Sony are going to be making new consoles but so far Microsoft has announced that they're going to try to put out their Xbox 720 before 2012 is over so <laughs> Expect to have it before Christmas. That's what I'm thinking, and I'm telling you what. So t I want to go over like some of the um, you know, the features of the Xbox 720 that have been announced. So so far, they are planning to make the graphic card, which is the thing that makes the graphics look so good, six times better. So we're gonna be seeing some very great content and graphics and this next console so be ready for that that's gonna be very great to see I just cannot wait to see how great the resolution of the picture is going to be it's just gonna be truly amazing especially that they're gonna be adding in 10 frames per second more on their frames frame rate that's gonna be that's just gonna enhance the you know the picture and it's just all gonna add up to be again a gr it's just gonna look so great and so clear I just cannot wait but yeah that's Xbox 720 they also announced that there's gonna be many other features that they will announce later so again it's gonna be coming out in 2012 so expect to um hear some more um what do you call it some more features about the Xbox 720 later but they're not sure the the um the release date's not official yet but they're going to try to put it out before Christmas because again that's going to be really well that's going to be a really good way to get a bunch of sales so they're going to try to put it out before 2012 is over and it's just going to be crazy good and again so far they haven't announced all the details about the system so we're just going to wait and just be patient to hear about that stuff but I'm telling you what, guys, it's going to be pretty nice. I cannot wait to see what they're going to put in it and what they're going to do with it. It's going to be really interesting again. But as you know, you know, Sony and Microsoft are big competitors. They're really, you know, they, I guess you can call them rivals because, you know, they're both competing to get the most sales. They're both competing to get the most customers and so on because, you know, that's business. So if Microsoft is going to put out a console, you know, you just know that Sony is not just going to be like, Oh, who cares? You know, we're just gonna let this go away. You know, they're gonna make a PS4. Obviously, that's really obvious. But they're probably gonna, they're probably making it right now. But they probably just haven't announced it. So I'm pretty sure that PS or the Sony Sony's working on the PS4 right now. But they just haven't announced it. But and I'm telling you what, that's gonna be that's gonna be great too. They haven't. I mean, obviously, since they haven't announced it yet. There's no details about it, but I'm pretty sure it's just it's going to be just as good as the Xbox 720. But I, I just cannot wait to see which one's better and how each one functions and how each one looks. It's just going to be really interesting, and I just cannot wait. I'm so psyched about this topic. So, again, it's just going to be so crazy to see what they're going to be able to do with this new technology that we're getting. And, I mean, what would you want to see in the PS4? Like, what are some main features you want to see in the PS4? Put that in the comment section below. I want to see what you guys think. What do you guys want to see in the Xbox 720 for a Xbox fanboy? Or, in other words, if you're a PS3 fanboy, what do you want to see in the PS4? I mean, what features do you guys want them to add to the um, new consoles? You leave that in the comment section below. I like to see that and respond to them. You know, I just want to see them, you know, make it as good as they can. I don't really care. I just, I just want better games. That's really what I care about. But, yeah, it's going to be really great. So, expect to see the PS4 sometime 2013 if the Xbox or 720 does launch in um, 2012. Or if not, even in 2012. I don't know, but just be ready to see the PS4 come out shortly after the Xbox 720. Also, 
just because you know other systems are, or other companies are making new systems, Wii is making a new console called Wii U. I'm not sure what that is about going to be about, but I'm not really going to go into too much. Oh, look at that feel. I'm not going to go into too much detail about that because I don't really care to be honest. I'm not a really big f Wii fanboy, obviously, but. Yeah, so it's gonna be interesting to see what people can do with these new consoles and all that. So, just this this is leading me to my next topic, and that is the future of first-person shooters. Now, the first I'm thinking this is gonna change a lot because, as you know, Halo came into place when you know Xbox 360 came out, and you know Call of Duty really arised when you know the PS3 came out I mean all these games are really coming out all these big games are coming out when you know all these big games are coming out when new consoles come out so I'm really expecting to see another big game come out when these new consoles come out like I, pay, I believe someone's just gonna you know try to make the, a really great you know game that's gonna beat Call of Duty which is probably gonna happen sometime in the future but that's the point of this i'm not sure when but it could be soon it could, could be in a really long time we just had to wait and see also i forgot to go over a top or a little point the xbox 720 is planned to be 300 to 500 dollars so that's really going to burn a hole through our um wallet but yeah it's going to be worth it i believe because it's going to be a really great piece of technology so i'm really excited to see that so and also look at this mp9 ownage I, yeah but before i go again if i get too off topic i mean you know, with each console coming out, there's pretty much a new game coming out. So, I mean, it could be a racing game that defeats Call of Duty. Because just think about it. Lately, you know, Call of Duty was so small until Call of Duty 4 came out, which was when the PS3 and the Xbox pretty much came out at the same time. I can't exactly remember. But, you know, when Call of Duty 4 came out, there was nothing, like, everyone was in love with that game. Everyone, that was like their favorite game at the time. There was like not much, you know, complaints, I believe, and everyone really enjoyed it. So, but then just think about it, when World of War came out, there was more complaints, and then when Modern Warfare 2 came out, that's when there was a bunch of complaints. Black Ops came out, there was more and more complaints, and Modern Warfare 3 comes out, and you see how many complaints there were? I mean, because they're trying to satisfy millions and millions of people, which is the problem. You can't satisfy everyone at once, which is really causing a bunch of hate in the game. Which is why I believe Call of Duty is sometime or sometime in the future going to fall. Because people are just going to be getting tired and tired of this game. And they're just going to, you know, drop it because they're going to get so annoyed by it. And I think that time is near. I'm not sure. It might be. It might not. But, I mean... It is getting more, it seems like it's getting more and more hate by the, you know, by the year. But you gotta notice that the game is getting more and more people by the year, so. But I believe the ratio is going up of more, you know, lovers than haters, you know. I don't know, I'm just feeling like there's more and more hate coming to the game by, you know, the year. So that's the problem. That's why I think that, you know, Call of Duty is, is kind of near its falling point. But then you gotta look at it the other way. Call of Duty has, you know, million, 20, probably... 30 million people that play the game in total and you know you're not just gonna fall in like two years you know so i'm believing that call of duty is probably gonna last like five more years or i don't even know i'm not gonna give an exact date but you know call of duty i believe doesn't have much time before you know a new game comes out because again consoles are coming out and they're gonna be bringing out a new game probably but you know it could be a cowboy game that defeats you know call of duty it could be an alien first person shooter it could be you know it could be anything all it takes is just one great game maker to you know overturn this you know this fanboyism i don't know but what do you guys think how long do you think call of duty is gonna last how long do you think you know how long do you think Call or first person shooters are gonna last. You know, you never know. The next big game could be Need for Speed or like a racing game or a cop game. I don't know, it could be anything. You know, I just cannot, that's why I'm so excited about the new um, consoles coming out because, you know, there's gonna be new games coming out and better games, hopefully, because I actually kinda wanna see um, better games come out than Call of Duty because, I mean, Call of Duty is a great game, but to see a game better than Call of Duty, that would be amazing. So, what do you guys think would be the next big game? Like, what kind of genre? Do you think it would be a first person shooter then? Or still? Or if you think that, you know, what about first person shooter? Do you think it would be like a cowboy game or, you know, would it be like a cop game or what so? I mean, leave that in the um, comment section below. I'm really interested to hear your feedback. So please tell me what you guys think is going to happen in the future. Tell me what, you know, what you want to see in the next few consoles. Just 
give me your, your feedback. I would really like to see it. And again, I think the next big, I think Call of Duty might be close to end. I really don't know. So I'm just going to leave this up to you guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye.